Joey Collins of Portland, Tennessee is a mechanic's mechanic. If it has gears and a motor, he can fix it. I got bit early and I hadn't got no better. <laughs> Collins was raised on a farm till he was about six. That's where his love affair with old tractors started. This started out as a hobby, just collecting a few old pieces. I kind of like to take an old piece that somebody considers junk and try to bring it back to life. One thing led to the other, and this is where we are today, about 30 years later. That's the second truck we ever got. I think I traded a garden tractor to that thing. For three decades, Collins has restored, rescued, and rekindled America's affection with antique machinery. It's now all housed in his Days Gone By Museum. Every time I got a chance, I'd either pick a piece up or swap. I've done a lot of horse trading over the years. This is uh, just a love of the old pieces and trying to preserve history, I reckon. In my own opinion, these pieces is what helped make this country because uh, we had this stuff compared to what they had worldwide. They just couldn't compare to what we had. Collins is fond of farm equipment that's in its basic form. He doesn't always pretty up a piece with new paint when the mechanics are mended. He says he and others from his generation like these pieces in their work clothes, as he calls it. A lot of people say like to see them painted up, but the majority of people I found out like them original. So this is more of a working museum. Uh, everything's not shiny and bright, but everything's mechanically sound. Collins focused on John Deere's for a while and amassed an army of green and yellow. Tractors may take up the majority of the space in the museum, but he also has 45 antique cars and trucks, from hot rods to Model Ts, all revived by Collins. Some of those on display were built from the ground up. These are built out of stuff that's laying around the shop. That's a little 23T. Uh, it's got a four-cylinder Chevrolet motor in it. Uh, built it to sale, but my wife here kind of took up with it, so I reckon that's her car now. Collins and his wife also like to collect farm implements. From hay balers and tillers, he has many tools of the agriculture trade that predate the engine. One of the most interesting implements they have is this seed potato cutter, where you would put your potato right there, press down on the foot pedal, potato comes out there, you plant them, you got your potato crop. And the ladies have something to look at too. Joey's wife has quite a collection of antique dolls, furniture, clothes, and even an old-timey wire recorder. He says if it wasn't for his family and friends, the days gone by museum wouldn't exist. And they decided that it, I don't do all this by myself. I have a lot of help and a lot of friends and a, a lot of support from the family and my wife. You know, so without them. Uh, this wouldn't be possible without the help of friends and family. From the very first truck he tinkered with, a 1919 GMC, to the very first tractor he resuscitated, Collins can't pick a favorite. He says it would be like picking a favorite child. But there are a few that stick out in his mind when asked which of the 135 tractors is his pet project. I got a big <clears throat> Altman Taylor tractor that I'm real proud of. They never was used in this area, but it's it's really a un unique piece. Uh, I've got a couple one-off John Deere's. I got one that they didn't build but two of, but it's it's not restored. It's kind of sitting over the side waiting for me to get to it. This collection of vintage machinery is put into action during the annual Days Gone By tractor show and thrashing each October. The steam engines loop the grounds and put on quite an exhibition. I had this stuff scattered everywhere, and it finally worked where we could get it all in one place. And uh, it started out just to have it in the stores, but then uh, we we got to having people wanting to come by and look and walk through, and it's, it's went from that to where we've actually opened it up as a museum now, so people could come and enjoy this stuff. For Joey, it's a sense of pride and patriotism to show the younger generation how this country was built with lots of blood, sweat, and gears. 
gears of old tractors and farm implements, when more elbow grease was used to power the plow than petroleum and diesel fuel. Great reminders of days gone by, but not forgotten.